Day. Uh, Thomas, let me start with you. Um, what do you make of the sanctioning of ICC officials? Of course, the ICC understandably has condemned this. So has, you know, the Dutch government as well as the EU. Yeah, so I think that first we should stress that having something like the ICCOC around is a very important institution, which we need in order to make sure that there are uniform standards applied in enforcing uh, s uh, crimes against humanity, uh, laws, and so on. And so it's very important that we defend the International Criminal Court. Secondly, uh, obviously, the United States is under existing international law free not to join the International Criminal Court and has chosen to do that, as, uh, basically to stay outside. But what they are now doing goes way beyond that. They are interfering with the activities of the International Criminal Court, even in countries that have ratified, like Afghanistan, for example. And they are targeting individual officials as individuals. So they're freezing the assets, for example, of these two people. And they're also prohibiting people like myself, for example, from interacting with these people. I am not allowed as a US permanent resident to donate any money to these two officials or to receive any funds from them. And that, I think, goes way beyond. Uh, this is an action that is normally reserved for uh, foreign criminals that are not sufficiently sanctioned by their own countries. So the U.S. normally uses these kinds of mechanisms to sanction terrorists. Mm. And using these mechanisms against officials who are just doing their job and doing a job to try to improve uh, the behavior of militaries and intelligence agencies in the world, I think, is uh, a very uh, bad precedent.